welcome to today's session in today's session we are going to discuss about jsf converters now jsf provides some built-in converters to convert a string into an object now whatever we type in a web form will be accepted in the form of a string so if you want to convert that string to an object then we have to use a converter now these are the uh, converter tags that is used in jsf Okay, F colon converter. Now this tag is uh, can be added to any user interface component or any parent component to add the converter. We have F colon date time converter. This will convert a string into date. F colon convert number. This will convert a string into number. So whatever uh, values that we type in a web form will be in the form of a string. To convert that to an object, then we use the converter tag. Let's see an example program now. So I'm opening a new project. Let me call it as converter. Now I will add a JSF page. Let me call the JF page as index. So now I'm going to create a form to enter the employee details. So I create a panel grid. Let me enter employee name. Let me call it as e name. Then I have to create an input box. Okay. I will leave the value column empty because later I will be mapping it with the bean. So let me create all the columns like this. I will add employee name, age. date of birth, salary, and finally let me add department. Now department, I'm going to create a combo box to select the department. So I'm going to add a combo box. See, I need the item value and the label because when I make a selection in the combo box, the value only will be selected. Label is to display whatever you want to display in the inside the combo box. So this will be design. Label will be design and the value. When you select, you make selection of the combo box, only what value or item value you give here will be selected, not the label. It will return the value item, not the label. Just adding a combo box. Okay, finally, I will add a button. And action, I will later on link it with the B. Okay, fine. Now, I'm going to add a converter here. Now, age. Okay, so whatever you type in the web form, it will be a string. Now, I want to convert into number. So, I'm going to add a converter to this input text box. 
okay so i will not close the input text box here i will close the input text box separately now inside this i will write the converter so i will write convert number okay now again for the salary i want to display salary in terms of dollars so again whatever i type in the input text box will be a string okay so i want to convert into number okay so i will close my input text box separately now inside uh, the input text i will convert into number now salary i'm going to enter um, in dollars so i can select my currency uh, symbol as dollar okay so it will ask the input in terms of dollars okay now again date date of birth here if you see whatever you enter inside this text box will be a string i want to convert into a date object so again i close my input text separately and i have to loop inside my input text box i have to write a converter i have to write converter date time okay i have to specify in what pattern the date has to be entered here okay so i will write the pattern as d d m m y y okay now you can specify in what format you want the date to be displayed okay so you can give the style for the date date style you can write it as full so i want a uh, date with time and uh, minutes and seconds i want the full date okay so this is what is a uh, the converter tag so we have added converter tag for age date of birth salary okay now let's go and create the bean cdi bean let me call the bean as emp and let me give a package name where i want to create the bean i'll change the scope of the bean to session now click on finish your bean is created now let me declare all the attributes in the form name of the employee age of the employee sorry age is integer then we have uh, date of birth the date of birth data type is date so we have to include the package for date import the package for date then we have salary and finally we have the department it's a combo box so it will return a string okay now we have to insert get and set method for all of these things getter and setter get and set method for all now when i click the button i want to go to the next page so i will add a method for that so public string do login i just write a method to move to the next page let me write the name of the next page here Okay, so here I create a new page, new JSF page and call the page as success. Okay, now I go back to my form, I link my form with my bean. So here I write the expression language to create the link. The name of the bean is emp dot link it with name the first text box the second text box is for the age so i write emp dot link it with age the third one emp dot date of birth the next text box is for the salary so i link it with salary field the last one the 
combo box I link it with department I link it with department okay just I'll save it now in the next page I will just display whatever I enter into the user interface components so here just I will um, create a grid pane and then just display the values just retrieve from the uh, box and then I will print the values okay so just I'll create a panel grid of column size 2 and here I just am going to print the values Okay. Now E name. Now what will be the value here? Here I will just print the value in the output text. Okay. So what is the value? Just link it with the bean again. So text on the bean and it displays here. Okay. Similarly, I am going to display all the other fields as well. This will be age of the employee. Then I will display date of birth. Next I will display the salary. The last one I will display the department. Okay, fine. We finished displaying all the attributes. Now just run the program. I think we forgot to add action for the button. So I will add the action for the button emp dot do login okay so this is for the button so you can see the output now so let us type any name here salary and department you can select any department and click on submit just a minute Yes, just I refresh the page. You can see the output. Okay, so you can see the date of birth, the date is displayed in full format, and this is salary department. Okay, all the values are got from the form, and you can see the output okay fine hope the concept of uh, converters are clear so just it converts a string because whatever we type in the form will be in the accepted in the form of a string so it will be converted into objects in the bean okay that is all about the converters we will meet in another session thank you for listening